Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. I am, uh, please remember, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay. I return to source. I return to sender. Excuse me. All negative energies and intended immediately and permanently. I call in on it the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibration or energy. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. I remove all blockages placed in your path, your life, your destiny by the enemies and return it to them. All chains are broken and you are free to go. Okay, free to be. Okay, all evil plans of your enemies, past, present, or future are dismantled permanently um, as we speak. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our oracle read. And then we can get into our tarot reading. I hope you all are having an amazing Saturday. I decided to switch up the setting of the channel a little bit to make things a little bit easier on myself because how I was recording before the camera is back is behind me. So I'm not really able to see what's going on. And I've had someone playing with my phone turning up settings and things like that. And I know it's a lot of the same karmics watching this video with the rest of the Soul Tribe members. Soul Tribes, please please uh, ignore these people. If I wasn't doing something right, it wouldn't be putting in all of that effort to block stop and try to distract me. Real cute. Anyways, let's go ahead and do our Oracle read. It said, people pleasing. Prioritize your own needs by learning to say no. Set boundaries. Okay, that's for someone out there. Um, some of you could have gone through some type of transition in life. Maybe you used to be a people pleaser or there's someone that's still struggling with this. Absolutely turn off that setting. I don't know what you need to do to turn off that setting, but turn it off. Uh, turn it off. Stop people pleasing. That's something I used to struggle with as well back in the days when I was a little bit younger, trying to make everybody happy. But honey, I find my content in life, my joy in life, and I stick to my business. Mind my business. I don't care what's going on with you. I don't care what you like. You don't like that's your business. If it ain't for me, it's not for me. Okay. So we have someone, we have a, a um, a situation out here we're starting with the four of cups there's someone that's absolutely upset because they're not able to get you out of energy they're not able to get you out of balance you have a group of people that have been trying you for a long time and whatever they've been trying is just not working um it's that people have made it their mission right to get you out of some type of positive energy because they don't want you thriving they don't want you receiving some type of abundance something that was left of someone has been hidden stolen and someone wants to uh, sell this narrative that you don't have an inheritance that was left to you. And this is for someone specific. Um, or this could be like a position as well that was left to you. Someone did something to steal something from you, to hide something from you. And that's how they got away with it. They did not get away with it. What someone has been doing behind the scenes is smearing your character, slandering you, trying to diminish your value, your image in the eyes of other people. And they've gotten other people to work with them. And they thought that this was going to help them prevent you from receiving your inheritance, your abundance. Someone is very pissed off behind the scenes that you are still confident. You're still self-sufficient. You are still hopeful in life with the fool being out here. Someone is just bothered, honey, because you're unbothered. These are people that are doing things trying to get you out of energy. Like they want you to respond, react, overreact to something. They're going through an ending because you're not responding. You don't care what's going on with these people. You don't care what you're doing. You act like you don't know what they're doing. You're acting like they're not even there. I don't blame you, honey. That's the best way to go about it. The best way to deal with a narcissist is to act like they don't exist. Honey, because they thrive off of energy. And you're, if you're not giving them any energy, they thrive off of attention. If you're not giving them any attention, honey, it is a hard knock life for them. Someone is absolutely bothered, okay? There's a feminine energy that's going through some type of ending behind the scenes. This could have been someone that was working with an energy behind the scenes to steal your wealth, steal your inheritance. Someone may have moved into a house that's not theirs and they're going to be put out of that home, okay? 
So some of you have exes acting behind the scenes, trying to diminish you, trying to destroy you, whatever they're doing is not working. So they're very desperate out here, taking desperate measures. They, you got to help me destroy this person. He's too happy. She's too happy. You got to help me. Someone looks like a man child out here. They don't even realize. And then you have the rest of the man child that are sitting with them, having meetings on how they can destroy you. They've come up with a whole plan. Mm hmm. This is the new plan, folks, because, you know, our ancestors be on it. It'd be our ancestors sisters tell us the plan of the enemy before the enemy even executes it. Isn't that something? So you have a group of men that have come together, come, came up with some type of false offer. They're going to send a feminine energy into you. She's going to come and pretend to be your friend. She's not a friend. She's an enemy. Okay. This is like a queen of swords coming in to pretend and be like a queen of wands or a queen of cups. She ain't none of the above, okay, in the upright. This is someone low, vibrational, and desperate to be seen as something she's not. This is someone vain, airhead, not intellectual in any way, shape, or form, just conniving and malicious like the rest of them. So they're going to send her towards you to come and befriend you um, so they can give you this false offer. And then this, if you accept this offer, which they think you will, it's going to get you off of your path and into some type of karmic cycle that's going to be absolutely hard for you to get out of, for you to end. But with us starting with this full of cups, that means, I don't know how clearly you all can see this. With us starting with this full of cups, that means that these people already failed because they are unhappy. You're still in this energy, still confident, still living your best life because source says that's what you're supposed to be living. You're unbothered, honey, but they're bothered. Can you imagine someone trying to bother you and you're out here being free and just living your life, eat the loca, doing what it is you want to do, not worrying about who's who, who's doing what. Somebody, daddy don't got themselves involved in something, but this is your energy. They want you. Listen, listen. Listen, Linda, listen, Linda, Linda, listen, honey, this is the energy these people want you in. They want you in the four of cups, but you are in the, the energy of the sun because you know what's backing you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spirit be like, ah, back it up, honey, honey, back it up to the karmics that this is not your lean. This is above your pay grade. We do not want you over here. Leave that person alone. So they're bothered, honey, because you're still in that sunshine and in the energy. So they're having another meeting. Okay. On how they're going to take you down. They say this person is too happy. This person is too happy. We got to take their happiness away. So they may be trying to bring you legal issues. You don't have any legal issues, honey. These are the, They're creating a storm for themselves. These people are creating storms for themselves. And they don't understand how they are creating a storm for themselves. So we're going to let them carry out their plans, right? There are people calling uh, CPS services on families, single parents, and things like that. And I don't. And, and and I'm telling you, they're causing a towel for themselves, thinking that they're causing it for you. This has nothing to do with you. When it's all over and done, some of these people are going to be locked up, losing everything, everything, everything. These people have been ce celebrating, you know, these karmics. Every time they come up with a new plan, they high five each other, each other. You know how Dora be Dora uh, high fives all her little friends in the shows and stuff like that. Uh huh. They high five each other. Ah, oh, Lord, I'm telling you, the karmics. Mm hmm. There they go. I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie on this planet, on uh, on this channel. Well, yeah, on this planet, I do my best to be honest. Uh, but honey. All the high-fiving ain't leading to nothing. All the drinking, all the overindulging, laying with each other and things like that, it ain't leading to nothing but being stuck. They're stuck in something. These people are trying to bring you problems only to end up getting themselves caught up in something they can't get out of. They want you caught up in some type of toxic karmic, <laughs> excuse me, some type of karmic cycle, but this is what they've put themselves in. Make it make sense. How are you trying to destroy someone and you're destroying yourself? And then the person is still going to bed every night, sleeping very well. I bet you are collective. I bet you are. I'm bombastic side eye on you. I'm like, like, girl, you don't give two hits, do you? Brother, you don't give two hits, do you? You sure don't. These people are out here out of breath, all kinds of stuff. Don't invest their, their money, their time, and everything into destroying you. But, honey, you're still getting your good night's sleep because you know you need it. You need it. This is what's up ahead of you, of course. In case you were wondering, collective, that's what's up ahead of you. 
these people want to come in and cause you distress. You may have someone showing up and things like that. You know, this is when they get desperate and start showing up to your house, park in the front of your house because they think that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. He said, oh, look, 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 I have a watchdog. Look at that. I have security and I don't got to pay for security. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching our homes, right? <laughs> Thank you for watching our homes for us. At least we know there's, there's a watchdog out there, so they're going to keep us safe. Because <laughs> you can't touch us, so all you can do is watch us. So we want to thank you. We just want to thank you for letting us be ourselves. Because while you're busy, parked out there, following us around, what are we busy doing collective? Living our best lives. Drinking wild mimosas with our legs kicked up on the arm of the chair. Maybe reading a book, meditating, doing something. Okay, just the elevating out here, baby, living that beautiful life, staying in that beautiful energy, that source, uh-huh, has destined for us, blessed us with. So that, let them keep trying. Don't you lose your luck, knocking on nothing these people are doing. Let them keep going. Let them keep going. Let them keep going. Honey, <laughs> divide time. Everything is about to be out to be uh, uh, balanced out. Okay, we have the four of cups out here with the devil under there. Oh, baby, this whole group is having a hard night life. Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. And so we, we got to do something. We can't let them have this offer. We cannot ha let them have their abundance. Yeah, 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 we know it belongs to them, but we already said they don't have nothing out here. There is no inheritance. This is what we told them. There's no inheritance. Oh, but the court said, oh, yeah, you can tell that all you want, but we have the papers. We're going to be giving them what's theirs, okay? Oh, yeah, and it's coming in quick, and someone is pissed up. Someone wants to come pick a fight with you. You may have someone advocating for you behind the scenes now. You say, yeah, yeah, that, that does belong to them, because now they know they can't have it, so maybe they're advocating for you, hoping that you'll share with them. So cute. So cute. Real cute. Yeah, they want you to share with them. <laughs> say if I support this person if I let them know that I was advocating for them to receive their in inheritance then they're going to share with me we're going to be friends uh yeah cute How, when did you start advocating for the collective that's what we want to know when did you start advocating for the collective is that when the court told you we're going to give this person what belongs to their to them you told us this person was on not here right you told us they were dead you told us this person was incompetent here they are filing court papers, uh-huh, and you're telling us that they're not here. Okay, okay, Sally. Okay, yeah, someone is defending you behind the scenes now. Let's see how that goes, shall we? Let's see how that goes. Someone went from being your enemy to now being your advocates behind the scenes, okay? These people, they now, if they didn't have foresight before, they have foresight now that things are not going in their favor. I'm telling you. Mm. things are not going in their favor they know that now everything they were doing turned out to go up against them so there's nothing they can do at this point you have people that have invested their time energy everything into blocking you from receiving any type of elevation in life they're having another meeting, which I just warned you about. So just be mindful when someone comes to worship you, to give you some type of offer, whether it's a friendship offer, romantic offer, whatever it is. It's not genuine. It's all planned. It is all planned. I repeat, collective, it is all planned. You have no contracts with these people. None of them are your friends. These people are desperately trying to get a reaction out of you and get you out of balance because a cycle is over and they're still trying to hold on to this cycle. Honey, this cycle is over. You know, that's how they are. They that's why karmics are karmics. They don't know when to let go. They hold on to people for too long. They hold on to things for too long. They hold on to hurts for too long for the rest of their life. That's why they have a hard time healing and seeing things from a higher perspective because they just keep holding on and on and on. Here's your future. So tribe members, this is your future growth acceleration abundance okay you know we sing our little song on here abundance 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 more abundance absolutely okay you, you your empress energy listen here here goes our empress right here 
You are an empress. This is what's bothering these people. Your abundance. Okay? The fact that you are an empress. They don't like that. There are men in this group that are used to being able to, you know, flash a little bit of cash to the low vibrational women. And, oh, would you look at that? She's in love. She found her match, right? She's never met anyone like him before. He has a sweetheart. He has a darling. Uh-huh. Let him lose that money and see, see, see what happens. Uh-huh. Let him see. Honey, real quick. It's a tower. Say, I thought you loved me. Yeah, I loved you when you had money. This is them going back and forth. Uh, she's not going to tell him. I loved you when you had something to give to me, but now you don't have anything to give to me. So, yeah, what's love got to do with it? I'm telling you, what's love got to do with it? These people are going through towers back to back. It's back to back. They're tired. They're worn out. They are worn out. And the towers are going to keep coming, keep coming, and keep coming. Okay? It's going to keep coming. They're going to have to move on, cut their losses, and move on. Because this here, I'm telling you, these towers are going to keep coming. Going to keep coming. Someone is bothered by your protection. Yeah. And while they're going through towers, this is them still trying to defeat you. And the Most High said, you don't get it, do you? You're not going up against that person anymore. You're going up against me. And I'm going to go all out on you at some point if I choose to. Right now, the towers are kind of spread out. It's spread out, and it's going to pick up momentum. You know how when, you're, when those uh, runners are running in the Olympics, you know, they start up fast, but as they're gradually getting towards the end, what do they do? They go all out. When I used to run track and field, cross country, that's what my coach used to tell me. You start off running, you know, run fairly good, and then you go all out at the end. Yeah, maintain your pace and then let it all out. Let that inner beast out at the end. So that's what's about to happen with the car, uh, uh, the towers. It's going to start a real spread out, you know, here and there. But it's a bang, bang. It ain't nothing like real calm. It's like they hit them right now. Bang. And it's still ouch. And then, you know, a little bit of time goes on. And then another tower. Bang. And then it's go bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm done. It opened right back on the tower again. These towers are coming back to back. Back to back. Mm, who, who's the rapper that says back to back? Is it, is it Drake? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Drake vibe over here. Back to back with the towers. He's going through a tower right now, coincidentally. Mm. Mm. Okay. Anyways, collective... Yeah, disappointment for these people. What they invested in was a waste of time. These people have been invested in causing you heartbreaks, trying to bring you legal issues. If we get them caught up in the legal system, they'll never get out of it. Okay? They're going to reach out to you for help. This is some of your exes trying to bring you problems so you'll have to reach out to them. These people, they just want to see you hurt. They just want to see you all hurt, disappointed in life, distressed, out in the cold, rejected, all kinds of stuff. That's what they want. And they'll never get the satisfaction of seeing that. Someone got themselves caught up in something that they cannot get out of. It says someone has been filing false police reports trying to get you set up. And these people are so dumb. Long gone are the days when you just went and filed police reports on people and the police didn't really look into you, the person that was filing the police report. Now the police looks into everybody involved. You that filed the, the, the report and the person you filed the report on. But someone is so crazy. They've done something so often. You know how that tower car keeps coming out repeatedly? Someone has been trying to cause you a tower after tower after tower after tower, and it's not working. Meaning for some of you, these people have been for filing false police report after false police report after false police reports. And it has gotten to the point where the police don't even want to hear from them. The police just, when they go in the file, the police report, the police just take the report. Yeah, we'll put it in the pile. We'll get to it later. They ain't getting to it because they know someone is a nutcase. Someone is misusing their access as well. There could be a police officer in here trying to misuse their uh, 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 their badge. And it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. 
you're protected with this sun out here. You see here. Mm -hmm. Let me show you us something. It's a lot of divine cars out here. We have the fool out here. The sun, baby, listen, you see that here, this empress here, protection, divine protection. So you are heavily protected by all of the forces of the universe. And you're the ones these people choose to come after. You know why they choose to come after you? Because they want what's yours. Some of them went and told a lot of lies. The lies have been exposed. He, she is out here embarrassed um, because people see them as a clown. Because that's what they've always been, by the way. A clown. And that's all they'll ever be. It's a clown. So they're embarrassed because people see them for who they are. It's a, oh, this is a clown. But you know, it's a couple of men in here that are bitter. They don't like women that are independent. They don't like women that have a mind of their own. Women that are self-sufficient. They they're not looking for handouts. So they try to put you in a situation where you will have to reach out to one of them. But you see them for who they are. Okay. I've been getting a download about a friend group where there's a masculine. There's a masculine or feminine energy in a group. That is invading people's technology. They're in your phones, your computers, and everything. So while these people are stalking you, there's a hacker amongst them that is in all of their phones. There's a worker, either there's a manager and a CEO doing the same thing. He's in his employees' phones, his employees' computers, their private lives, everybody. So while these people sit and laugh at the things they're doing to you, they don't realize they're invaded too. Someone is like a, 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 what is it? They're like the plague. They're just spreading. So why they like sit? All oh, this, these people are sitting laughing, trying to end you. They don't realize the plague. Realized the plague has touched them too, and it's spreading. All of their lives are invaded, and they're laughing. They think they're causing you some type of distress. They don't even realize it's man down in karmic lean, karmic veil, man down. They don't even realize it. They're so focused on you. Ain't that something? The enemy wants you to feel that like you are not progressing in life. You're not going anywhere. They want you to feel like you're always going to be waiting for your harvest. They want you in this energy. That's not your energy. That's theirs. Everything that they're investing is never going to come into fruition. It's never going to grow. This is their destiny. Heartbreak after heartbreak disappointment after disappointment it's a lot of emotions going on behind the scenes there's a queen of cups losing her bs <laughs> excuse me there's a queen of cups losing her shit behind the scenes someone thought they have blocked your destiny oh she invested a lot of time and energy may have even paid a practitioner to do you something this is someone's lover this is someone's lover and she is going through it. Has legal issues coming in, dear. You have legal issues coming in. Absolutely. These people want you feeling sorry for yourself, feeling rejected. They, they want you to feel like, oh, the karmics don't like me. They're rejecting me. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I got to figure out how to get them to like me. <clears throat> your focus on your pentacles. <laughs> You're focused on your family, your life. They need to be, but they're more focused on you. More focused on you. When would they ever learn? There's something where the, the, uh, uh, where the enemy does. I'm going to use this analogy so that you all understand the situation that you're in. There is something that the enemy does where they want you to feel like you are not prospering in life. Nothing you do will, uh, will ever thrive, will ever grow, will ever be abundant. That's a lie. That is a lie a bull-faced lie think of like a bamboo shoot okay bamboo plant when they start growing it takes forever for them to reach the surface so it seems that's divine intervention divine guidance by, by the universe that's how they're programmed to be okay they're said to be that way when a bamboo shoot is planted it first establishes its roots under the ground. So it may take a few years for the actual plant to sprout above the ground. But within those years that it's taking the bamboo shoot to sprout, you see all the other plants around the bamboo shoot growing and then they die off. And if they are perennial plants, they will do their cycle every year. 
grow, die, grow, die, back to back and back, back to back, back to back, right? You're in a cycle. And if it's just a uh, plant that's not perennial, uh, perennial, they just grow. And then, it, you know, we see their beauty, they die, and then that's it. But the bamboo shoot, all that time, it's spreading out, spreading wide and far, growing and growing and growing. Underground, mingling with all the other roots. So all the other plants that are around the bamboos, making jokes, talking about, you're not even growing, bro. Are you even there? Dang. Dang, you're short on supplies. Dang, when are you going to come out? Oh, he probably died under there. She probably died under there. Oh, yeah, they're making jokes and everything. Little do they know that bamboo is about to go above them all. And while they're laughing, that bamboo now has control of them because what that bamboo shoot the roots when it was sprouting right it was touching all of them right so that bamboo if something happens to the roots of that bamboo plant something happens to them right you see how God works you see how God works so while they're joking laughing and everything they really should be praying that that bamboo shoot makes it out of their ground successfully because if it doesn't and something happens, it starts to die. What happens? It's going to touch them. Their roots are going to start dying off too. And then before you know it, oops, they're out. So there's something like that. Okay. Sometimes God will cause a stagnation. It's not a stagnation. It's time for you to grow. This is your preparation season. Like that bamboo shoot the roots are being prepared down there for it to spread out, thicken, and establish its foundation before it shoots up to the sky. After the few years it takes the bamboo to shoot to, to uh, establish its roots, it starts growing overnight. Overnight. And it comes and surpasses everybody else, all the other plants around it. Now they don't have no more jokes to tell. That's how God works. So some of you are in situations where you feel like things are not getting better. Things are not changing. You're always going to be in this stagnant period. You're not in a stagnant period. You are in a period of education, growth, improvement, ascension. You are acquiring all of the necessary tools like the magician has, right? So that you are ready for your journey, so that when you embark on your journey, you have all the necessary tools and you, whether it is emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, you will have all of those tools, right? To complete your purpose, to arrive at your destination. So don't let anyone stray you off of your path. People that don't have a destiny, don't know their destiny, don't want to find out their destiny are the ones that go out of their way to cause other people's stagnation. So don't let anyone try you. Okay? That's th th I needed to give that analogy because you have some bitter people out here. Bitter people out here that has made it their mission, right? To try and separate light workers from their purpose, their destiny, their path. And it will never come into fruition. Some of these people, this is them, right? Their whole life. But there's something going on in their lives where they're not going to have a choice but to let go. Just to let go. That's what the hanging man has to do with. Someone is around a group of toxic friends. This is a group of toxic friends that have been together for a long time. And the universe tells this person or this person has some type of experience, right? And they're being told that they need to remove themselves from their group of people or it's not going to end well. So with that revelation being exposed to them, they have a choice to make. They can either stay with their friends or they can separate themselves with their fr from their friends. If they stay, okay, they're going to be in a tower. They won't be able to recover from for a long time. If they s remove themselves, they've just given themselves a second chance at life, okay? Some of these people, they've been around certain groups for so long, that's all they know. So they don't know how to grow the heck up. So they think it's your mission to 
block other people, even though they don't have any control of their lives or their past. They don't know who they are, right? And the universe is patient with us all. It will tell us, hey, Sally, don't do that. Yeah, be practical, Sally. Be practical, Sally. Because don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? So now that someone is going through recovery, maybe they're doing a little better. They're choosing to be practical. With all of the emotions running haywire behind the scenes, they're choosing to be practical now. Because something is just not what they thought it was. People are waking up. Okay? People are waking up. This is ridiculous. It's what someone is saying. We've been trying to end this person for a long time. And it's not working. So people are walking away. They're waking up. going, Doing some type of self-actualization. Which is what they should have done a long time ago. Okay? There could be a king of pentacles that's not doing well mentally. Someone is not doing well mentally. And he's going to have to fix his mental. Yeah, if he wants to come towards you, honey. Someone wants to go for it. Some of these people in this group, they're still stuck on stupid. So they still want to take some type of action and send a masculine in to some of you to give you some type of false offer. You already know. It's been told to you. You know when, you, when this person comes towards you, you're going to know. Someone's very lustful and they're coming with temptation, illusions. So you're going to know when this person comes around you, these people know you don't want nothing to do with all of them. This is why they're grooming people behind the scenes to come in and talk with you, give you some type of friendship. You're not looking for friends. You are not looking for friends, especially with the fact that a lot of you know what these groups were doing behind the scenes. You're not looking for friends. You don't need any friend but the, but the universe right now. And the, if the universe believes that you need someone, they're going to give you that person. Okay? So someone is coming in with a false offer. They're going to make it seem glorious. It's coming from the very family, the very couples that have been trying to block you. This is what it's going to do if you accept that offer. Have you stuck? Okay? Have you stuck? They're trying to bring you issues. When you accept an offer from someone that you're not meant to, what they're planning to do is to set you up. They're going to make it seem like you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing. They want you locked up. They want you binded to them. Someone wants you binded to them. There's a crazy ex out here for someone, a king of cups. And he's only showing up as a king of cups because he's your ex. This man is desperate to be around you. Someone was dating a warlock. They didn't know they were dating a warlock until they left. And this man went B-S-H-I-T crazy. Bad S-H-I-T crazy. Excuse me. This man is crazy. And he won't stop at nothing until he destroys you. But he's, this is him. This is him. Every time this person takes action against you, this is him. He wants you in this state, but this is him. Someone's future is in prison. His future is in prison and it's not going to be pretty in there. I had a dream of something happening to someone in jail. And that is not something I would wish on my worst nightmare. I'm a, that's not something I would wish on my worst enemy. Excuse me. What was happening to this man in jail? was nothing short of a nightmare. Okay? So, let them keep trying. They've already sealed their fits. You have nothing to prove to anyone. You are being protected. Okay? <laughs> Some of you don't understand how far these people have gone to get into your energy. They're going to have to move on. Some of these people need to heal, but they're refusing to heal. Some are maybe trying to even flee. The consequences of their actions, but there's nowhere they can go. They're going to have to eat their humble pie, serve their karma, pay their debt. So they can run as far or as fast as they want. It's still going to meet them right there. It's like you, you ever seen some of those movies where people are trying to get away from uh, 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 strange things, uh, a killer or something. And they're running for their lives only to get to their destination and see that thing or person standing right there waiting for them. Yeah, whoever is running, 
yeah, wherever you're running to, this is what's there for you as well. So there's nowhere you can go to get away from your destiny. This is your destiny because, the, because of the choices you make. Every time you make a decision you, by taking an action, every action you take is a clear statement to source. That this is the path that I want. We all have choices in paths. Even though you make a plan with the consoles up there before you get down here. When you get down here, the choices you make, the actions you take are telling them what path you want to get on. Okay? This is the path you all chose. This is the path you all chose, you karmics. Okay? People are desperate out here. You should have went within. Someone is going to need legal counseling. It's not going to block your, uh, 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 your karma, your debt. It's not going to erase your debt. But before you do the next thing, you may want to go seek legal counseling because you're in for a long road ahead of you. Long road. Long, long road. You should have went in and did some introspection. Someone in this group does not know how to act their age. Possibly your king of pentacles. Don't know how to act their age. Someone is just bruised and broken, bitter, disgusted. Okay? Just, uh-uh. Your energy is too much. Someone wants to come in now and tell you the truth. We have to ask the source showing up out here. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I didn't know what, 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 what was really going on. You know, n -n -n now I know. Oh, now you know. Oh, I'm glad you know. But, uh, yeah. What does that got to do with us? Collective, what does that got to do with us? Exactly. What does that got to do with us? What does that got to do with us? Someone has put themselves in some type of situation as a bit of a nightmare. So they may be looking for you now to tell you the truth. Source is blocking someone out of your energy. Because this person coming towards you to give you this truth and clarity, there's an ulterior motive. They want you to commit to them. They have issues going on behind the scenes and they think telling you the truth is going to help balance it out because you're going to forgive them and see things from a higher perspective because they told you the truth. Honey, your, your karma still stands. Your karma still stands. Some of you out here, you're about to be on like the world stage or something like that. You're about to be like someone high ranking in society. Like you will be the one making judgment in other people's lives. These are the types of opportunities people are trying to block from you all behind the scenes. And you don't even know. You don't need to because the Most High is keeping it from you. When the right time comes for you to know, you will know. Okay? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Someone wants to give you clarity about an institution, what they've been doing. There's a higher fin in here. This is like a religious character i don't know if this is a priest a bishop a pastor whoever this is uh, the leader of an institution going through a tower oh he's going through it and someone wants you wants to tell you the truth about him what he's been doing you know already you know whatever you don't know about this situation source is going to send the right person towards you to tell you okay Oh, the higher fin is going through it, having to downsize their life, losing a lot of money. Some of them lost everything behind the scenes. Yeah, they lost everything for coming for you. Stealing from you. Trying to steal from you. Okay? This is this person. On the surface, they pretend to be, well, a higher fin, but this is them. This is their true character. This is their true character. And they did something. They thought they were going to get away with it. Everybody. Everybody is on the chopping block. Everybody's on the chopping block. Okay? An institution stole something, tried to block something, tried to steal something, whatever it is. And they thought they were going to get away with it, honey. It ain't so. It is not so. There's a false empress in here. This woman steals. This woman steals. Someone is very low vibrational. She comes in and steals what belongs to other people. If you're building a business, they try to steal their business. If you're in a happy home, they try to dismantle their happy home. These are the people that will call CPS on you for no reason, filing false police reports, all kinds of stuff, because they don't want you to be happy. 
but they're, they, they have an obsession with you. Obsessed. Someone is obsessed with another woman. I, it don't make no sense. Okay, it does not make no sense. And while they have all this chaos going on, Source is about to skippity pap 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 you out of, out of their energies, away from them. So they can serve their karma right where they are. For the ones trying to flee, Source is saying, nope, come right back here. You're where you need to be. Someone in here is going to try to flee to another country and it's going to be so horrible when they get there because they're still going to get locked up for something. Because all someone knows is how to bribe people and they're going to F around and do something and they're going to be locked up in a third world country. Baby, it's going to be horrible back there. Horrible. Someone's trying to flee consequences. I don't get it. When they're carrying out all of these malicious plans, they're committed. They're enthusiastic about it. You ever seen how comics are when they're carrying out malicious plans against light workers? Oh, all 32 teeth are out. Whether the teeth are steam, white, yellow, whatever, they don't care. It's all out. You know, they act like they don't see their flaws. They can have crooked teeth, shark teeth, everything. They'll act like it's not there. But because their light bothers the demon within them, they'll nitpick at you. You say, girl, are you really coming from me with those shark teeth? Okay, but when they're coming after you trying to destroy your life, cause havoc in your life, oh, they have all 32 choppers out, smiling, feeling good, chest out, marching around with confidence, uh, confidence, until SHIT hits the fan. Oh, those 32 choppers go right back in so quick, so quick. And then the anger hits, it kicks in, it kicks in. They don't like the fact that you're defending yourself or someone is defending you. There's a wealthy man behind the scenes defending you because he knows the truth. These people went above and beyond to smear your character only for someone to find out at the end that this is you. Someone is looking at a group of people like scums, bottom of the barrel. Because he knows what they did to you. They told this person, yeah, oh, yeah. He don't want nothing to do with them. This is them. Looking dumb, embarrassed, rejected. This is what they wanted for you. This is what they're going through. They wanted this man to believe that you were worthless. Not worth a dime. Right? And you didn't deserve the abundance life was giving you. You didn't deserve anything good in life. You were illiterate for some of you, incompetent for some of you, lazy for some of you, and for some of you, all of the above, and then some. <laughs> Only for him to find out that this is you, and now he's in sorrows, he's disappointed, like someone is ashamed because he could have allowed people to do you something, not realizing the whole time he was permitting them to bully you. So, oh, he's pissed off behind the scenes. He's pissed off, and he's going to do the right thing. So you have a group that's now pissed off because he's choosing to do the right thing. Yeah, he's choosing to do the right thing, healing the situation. Okay? He's tired. He said, I'm tired. Lord, I'm tired taking action to do the right thing. And they don't know what he's doing, how he's going to do it. Okay? How he's going to do it. But someone is advocating for you behind the scenes. Absolutely. Okay, my, 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 yeah, advocating someone behind the scenes, oh, baby, someone interfere with someone's path, they try to make your life difficult, someone hired someone to do this to you, like a coal, either an institution, an ex, or, or, or all the above. They hire someone to make your life difficult. But through all of the difficulties, you still push forward. You still push forward. You invested in yourself, in your life. And it's, listen, these people are pissed off because you keep, you keep going. They want you to stop going. They want you to stop going, but you're not. You're not. 
Oh, you're not. Someone wants to come towards you and they know you know who they are. This chapter, I'm telling you, this chapter is over. They don't want the chapter to be over. And this is why they're going above and beyond. Now, trying to make you feel uneasy, get a reaction out of you, and you don't care. You don't care. Okay? You don't care one bit. Because you see all of these people for exactly what they are. Scums. Bottom of the barrel. Okay? Not worth your reaction. Not worth your tears. Not worth your nothing. I'm telling you. And they're going through endings. They've been paying people to cause you endings. And they're the ones going through endings. Someone thinks they're going to get a police officer to come and arrest you for something fraudulent. It's not happening. You got nothing to worry about. You, you best go to sleep and get you a good night's sleep so your soul has time to travel through the universe. Go back to the ancestors and say hello, have meetings and all of that. You best go and do that. Don't you lose one drop of sleep. Don't lose one Z. Don't lose one sheep. Don't lose nothing. And when you get up, make sure you do what you do regularly. Don't change nothing on your routine. Source got you covered. Oh, here's the family. This is what they're going through. Oh, it's the whole family. Losing money. Losing everything. Losing sleep. I'm telling you, this is them. Living in fear and anxiety. Trying to hold on to the last bit that they have. Mm-hmm. Trying to hold on to the last bit that they have. Baby. Okay. Okay. Everything. They're all working together. Everything that's going on wrong in their life, they're still focused on you. You have a king of pentacles that's still trying to cause a still made for you. He's going through something behind the scenes. You have a couple trying to cause a still made for you. They're going through something behind the scenes. They may be trying to move on, try like move to another state, move to another country. Maybe that's the ones trying to flee. I don't know where you're going to flee to. They said they want to go start over brand new. What? That's cute, but it's going to be after you serve your karma. Oh, yeah. It's going to be after you serve your karma. After you serve that karma, because it's due. You, you got debt to pay. You got debt to pay. Oh, baby. You have got debt to pay. Mm -mm -mm. There's someone in here. Lisa, you know what? I'm going to put this deck down and just do a little recap because what I'm seeing in this group is ridiculous. You have a bunch of people. They are very lustful, low vibrational, older than you, hiring younger kids as well to get involved in something that has nothing to do with them. So they're tempering with those kids' destinies by doing that, right? They're tempering with their destiny. You know, young kids, teenagers, or young adults, they don't care how, what, how their actions affect other people. They don't care. We've all been there before. We were selfish as heck when we were teenagers. We thought we knew everything. We gave our parents a hard time. We were clueless as can be, but we thought we knew everything. These kids don't know what they're getting themselves involved in. They're going to get in there, participate. They're going to tell them what they're doing, and they're going to agree to the contract only for them to get older and realize, oh, I have to really bad doing that to that person. Yep. But this group here, these are impulsive people, bitter people, angry people. They feel like you don't deserve what was left to you. If you're someone with an inheritance, someone wants to say there is no inheritance, there is an inheritance. Don't let anyone talk you out of your inheritance. You're going to receive some type of communication. They're going to try to tell you, oh, honey, we mistakenly sent that to you. It was not intended for you. It was intended for you. It was intended for you. Okay. It was intended for you. So, when that information comes to you, you're going to take that step, that action that you're supposed to take. And this is going to get you out of the cold. Someone is about to go from rags to riches. Some of you own houses that you don't know you own because someone stole it. There's something fraudulent in the court system. 
uh, forged your signature and this was a group effort. Someone left you something and then another party went and said, I need you to help me make sure this person does not receive this. And a whole people, bunch of people got involved in it. So now they're out here telling people there is no inheritance. Nothing was left to you. Oh, okay, the court is going to help, help everybody figure that out. Because there's someone in here, there's an investigation going on, and they are leaving no stones left unturned. All I's will be dotted, all T's crossed, all ducks lined up, everything. And these people have problems coming in. Oh, honey, they have problems coming in. Problems. No growth, nothing, no new beginnings for them. The offers they're going to be receiving are not what they want. No fulfillment, okay? No foresight, nothing. Mm. Nothing but confusion for all of them. And this is the life that they asked for by the actions that they took. So let's go ahead and do our Oracle cards and then we can get off of here. This, this reading was a little bit more serious. Hopefully the other one, the next one will be a little bit more joyful. But honey, you have got to be kidding me. Okay. Yeah, it's a worthy goal. Get out and be inspired to keep working toward your life's purpose. Fresh ideas. Okay right there like i told you get out there go live your life live your life hey uh oh okay anyways thank you for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now